represents it. That's fine. Um, we'll get into this. Uh, women's wrestling in WWE is at an all-time high. Now, if we'd only get to see it on Raw. Point. The reason the crowd in Brooklyn turned on Monday night's match is so simple. They've been given no reason to care. The Diva Revolution is going in circles and getting nowhere. Yes, we're getting good matches, but a match is just a match. Without a storyline to drive the action, it's meaningless. That's where we are in the Divas Revolution. We need a story, not just matches. We need a hero to cheer and a villain to boo. Not bizarre character traits like Becky Lynch being a goofy member of PCB who talks about dinosaurs and cyborgs. When did that happen? Uh, that was during Ms. TV. Oh, okay. I guess I zoned out for a moment. I, I was just looking at I, Becky Lynch. I think Lynch. one of the main problems with this is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got, oh, okay. We got more email. We got more email. But, but I, And I think it's more... In the, yeah, yeah. Um... I don't understand how everyone can understand this except for the people in charge of Raw. Well, we've gone into that. Before I finish, I want to thank everyone who's supporting the Strip Nikki movement and signed the petition to change.org. A champion who actually defends his or her title every 30 days shouldn't be too much to ask for. And as I recently wrote on my blog, it's not a revolution until the queen is dethroned. Your mainstream, main, your mainstream media homeboy, mainstream Matt, home of the TNA big board, www.change.org. No, 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 we're not doing that part. Um, but anyways, no. So, 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 so uh, to your point, and we'll get into this whole change.org. And actually, I'm realizing I think I misinterpreted the the petition, and to, for that, I apologize. And I'm 100 percent for strip Nikki, Mike. Um, in a moment. See, I I think we've misinterpreted. This entire Divas Revolution thing. Mm -hmm. um, because, see, Revolution has two meanings, Sorg. One is dethroning a change of power. And the other definition literally means to go in a circle. <laughs> I, okay, I, okay. I think instead of a revolution, we need an evolution. Okay. And I think that's kind of like what i think that's what the hashtag should be because the divas evolution is becky coming up is charlotte coming up is the four horse women like if there was a divas evolution which is evolution is wwe's version of the four horsemen that's it right there they even did the four horsemen pose at the end of takeover um i think that's kind of what we need like and now the rumor is going around the internet, as Matt said in the chat room, that Nikki's title reign is pretty much Cena's fault, or that Cena's the one pushing for her to keep the title. Don't know. Again, none of us know if that's true. Purely it's speculation. Really Absolutely internet. speculation. It's it's internet pure, speculation. Yeah, it's, it's pure speculation. Sheet. Yeah, dirt sheets. But uh, it could be it could be grounded in stuff. It could just be they don't want AJ's name on the record books but we need to uh, like like i said we need to stop calling it a revolution and start calling it an evolution we need to that's the reason people were so invested in bailey and sasha mm -hmm. because you can't like there is no women's match on raw or smackdown that you can have that kind of video package for there's no feud like that on between divas on Raw and SmackDown, where you can have that kind of video package between Sasha and Bailey. Like uh, one of my friends I was with didn't really wa didn't really care about Bailey. Like wasn't invested in her character at all. Um, after I punched him in the face, uh, he saw the video package. I'm kidding about that, by the way. After he saw the video package, he was like, "Oh my god, I really want to see Bailey win," because they have like a two year long story about this. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's what sells. That's always been what sells in wrestling. So instead of going around circles, like making many, many, many revolutions, we need to evolve it. Wow. Wow. Um, LP, you've been watching Raws. You've been, you've been you catching up with this. I, I don't know how heavy with NXT and everything. What do you think about the current state of it? I mean, we got a bunch of new faces, but are we just doing, doing the same old shit at this point? Um, I think that, uh, uh, the idea that we would get something different is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this, <laughs> I mean, what, what did they, so they brought up these new, very talented wrestlers, 
Um, did people think that suddenly they were going to completely change the way the entire business works? Mm-hmm. No, the, they're doing, they, they are essentially doing that. They're giving them more time. They're having matches on TV and they are, um, more skilled wrestlers than, uh, than we've had in the past with a few notable exceptions. I think, I think it goes to show that, you know, uh, when wrestling fans will complain about something and when they get what they want, what they really want is something new to complain about and they'll find it. And, and, and to go off your point, um, uh, Matt, I take no disregard for what I'm about to say, but, uh, I, I remember,